Mwinyangwe paid a courtesy call on Gengop to introduce her party's leadership. Thereafter, the Nuru president commended Gengop on Operation Kalahari Desert, saying her party welcomes the initiative. She, however, expressed concern about the NDF's involvement. We are not saying that what they are doing is irresponsible, but it's because of their training. And we have seen recently that, um, uh, you know, the shooting of people, especially the the incident with the taxi driver, one was very, very worried that if there were passengers in the taxi, you know, that could be very fatal. The Nuro leader thus advised gang up to utilize out-of-school youth in addition to the police, as opposed to using NDF members. This would be done by providing them with training to assist the law enforcement. Additionally, this would ensure that they stay away from the streets and help them develop a sense of civic responsibility. As government, we might can give them a small, you know, something for their pockets as a, as a token of appreciation. In his response, Gengob explained that constitutionally, the army cannot be assigned to arrest people, but can be used as backup force assisting the police. They are not supposed to go ahead and shoot. They are backup force. But human beings are human beings. They commit a crime, all of us do that, they will be arrested. If you're not arrested, we can say there is something wrong. He's in jail now. The Namibian president further clarified that the idea of making use of the army is not to abuse civilians. But human beings are human beings. We all misbehave sometimes. But we must discipline you if you misbehave. Gengob also welcomed the advice from the Nuro leadership, stressing the importance of working together. George Hendricks, Napa News, Vintuk.